In today's video, I will discuss hardship waivers and what qualifies as a hardship. Visit us at Sweat and V channel with your questions to see how best we can help you out with your process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Let's get started. What is a hardship waiver and why do you need one? In immigration law, there are certain things you may have done in the past that requires a waiver or a pardon from the government before you can be approved for a green card. A waiver may be necessary if you have ever committed fraud to get an immigration benefit or if you have unlawful presence or lack of legal entry into the US or if you've been convicted of certain crimes, whatever the reason may be, you must prove that you are a US citizen or permanent residence parent or spouse will suffer extreme hardship if you are not granted the waiver. There are certain waivers where U.S. citizen's child may be considered a qualifying relative for the purpose of proving extreme hardship, but for the majority of applicants applying for a hardship waiver, their qualifying relative will either be a spouse or a parent who is either a U.S. citizen or a resident. What qualifies as a hardship? When you submit an application for a waiver, focus on including as many factors of hardship to relative as possible. Remember that the inquiry is not on how hard your life will become, but how hard your relative's life will become if you are not here. The inquiry is also on the hardship your relative will suffer if they had to leave the U.S. to be with you in your home country. The government will not consider the normal family separation to be an extreme hardship, but rather a normal hardship. Almost every person applying for a waiver would suffer some sort of hardship if the application is not granted. However, by upping the level to extreme hardships, the government is asking for you to show how the family member would suffer even more than what is normally expected for them to suffer, which is a crazy idea, but this is the level that you have to show. Your job is to show that your relative would suffer not just any hardship, but extreme hardship. The USCIS looks at several factors of hardship, including medical hardship, psychological hardship, financial hardship, loss of educational opportunities, and also they look at the conditions of the country where you are from and how your relative would fare if they are forced to move there. The trick is not just a focus on one type of hardship, but to include as many factors as possible in order to help the officer understand that your relative's life would be devastated if your application is not approved. How can you apply for hardship waiver? The processing of applying for a hardship waiver will depend on whether you are applying for a green card or whether you are defending yourself from removal and immigration court. It also depends on what type of waiver you need and whether you have a lawful entry into the United States. It's best to speak with a qualified immigration attorney to find out the best way for you to move forward in your immigration journey. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share this video with them. We are all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people we want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs icon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe or hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!